Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for whenever it resonates, okay? So keep in mind that the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Libra? Time means everything, right? All in good time. All in good time. Oh, spiritual awakening. So you must be going through a spiritual awakening at this time. one wants to come out. Ooh, some of you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of luck. So you may have some good luck that is coming. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. I also have 666 on the bottom. 666 is the journey to balance and harmony. It's also about taking steps in a new direction. Um, traveling in a new direction. Moving on. Uh, you think about the six is moving on from the past. Um, you put all those sixes together. It's moving on. It's traveling. It's leaving the past behind. Making better choices for your life. Going through a spiritual awakening. So you are going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Um, headed towards balance and harmony because of the choices that you make. Oh, these three cards just will not stay on the deck, so i got to show them to you. Capricorn. Capricorn is, uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but Capricorn's a, a card of perseverance. It, al it also is, you know, in the tarot, represents the devil, which is uh, uh, ties that bind us, okay? So you may be severing some ties with somebody. Look deeper. Something is hidden. These would not, I tried putting them back on the deck and it wouldn't work out. 911. So, you know, some of you, nines are closure, uh, ones are manifestation. There are also about independence. Some of you may be closing a cycle with somebody, um, and it needs to happen right now. Right, 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 right now. Okay, that's emergency, right? So I think that you guys may be closing a cycle with somebody and I feel like you've maybe uh, been struggling with that, struggling with the closure. Um, you are going through a spiritual awakening. Luck is on your side. Uh, there's hard work ahead. I think it's been a lot of hard work to go through this spiritual awakening. Um, there's something that you haven't been... Uh, seeing obviously with that look deeper something is hidden has to do with your closure and it has to do with your independence it also has to do with a partnership it's like you're not seeing something you're not seeing something clearly what do we have for Libra My goodness, what a mess. Chariot. Chariot is about mastering emotions, going in a new direction, leaving the past behind. Somebody's traveling in a new direction. Could be you. Could be somebody that you're dealing with. This is literally moving forward. It is a card of transformation. This is no looking back now. This is steering. It's steering your ship or somebody else's in a completely new direction. Some of you could actually be moving or somebody is moving away from you. I just happened to look down and it is reversed, the devil reversed, that is severing ties from a, and it's interesting that I mentioned the 666 and then and that severing ties and then the Capricorn card came out. Some of you are severing ties with a, with a, uh, something that you have been chained to, okay? You've been bound to this. You know what this is? It's an obsession infatuation 
severing ties with that obsession, severing ties with that infatuation, severing ties with that toxic bond. Severing the ties with devil energy. Breaking yourself free. I mean, that's what the chariot is as well. It's like getting in the driver's seat and going somewhere. It's like taking a journey. And maybe it's somebody that you're dealing with. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius, a Capricorn, a Cancer. Maybe that person is severing ties with you. Somebody is severing ties. And it could be sun, moon, or rising. They're severing ties. They're breaking free. Time of transformation, leaving it all behind, could be very suddenly, um, moving forward. I feel like you've been hit with a spiritual awakening. It's, it's, it's just hit you. Something may have just hit you. Page of Cups, Hierophant, higher power involved here. God, King of Swords reversed, Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles, that's your obsession, Death reversed, Ten of Wands reversed, Three of Swords reversed, Nine of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. What you don't see coming is the Hermit reversed. You probably are going to need time to heal from something. I think that you have been healing. I thought that I had that on the... There we go. I thought... I think that you have been healing. You may need to isolate yourself. I feel like there's loneliness here. I think that you've been lonely. I feel like you've been... Uh, maybe you've been rejected by somebody and you've been going through some sort of midlife crisis. Uh, I feel like it's time for you to reconnect. It's time for you to come out of hiding. Maybe some of you have been hiding yourself from the world. Um, I do feel like there's in the middle card, the very middle card is the death card. That is the main card. It is reversed. It's like this holding on to this dead end is getting old. I feel like we have somebody here that is very unhealthy. I don't know if it's a father figure or, or it's a masculine energy. Could be, definitely be a father with the hair of font could, or, you know, somebody that is in a position of authority. Um, this is the Ten of Wands reverse is a breakdown. It is a collapse. Okay, it's freedom. It's freedom from something that has been weighing you down. I feel like you are okay, the Seven of Wands in the future position right around the corner. That is defensive, um, feeling attacked. You may be feeling attacked. Maybe you feel like you have been attacked. Maybe you feel like you've been spiritually attacked by somebody. You may even be getting some bad news. Um, King of Swords is, is usually a masculine energy that has wrecked some sort of, or wreaked, or however you pronounce it, some sort of havoc on your life. This person has caused you some sort of despair. Um, I feel like you have some sort of feelings for this person and they're going to, they really put you in your emotions. I feel like you need to protect yourself from this person. You need to let this person go. And I feel like it's, you don't really want to let them go. You don't want to let them go because there's, they offer you some sort of stability or security or something like that. Or you have some sort of emotional feelings for this person. But I feel like this person has broken your heart in some way. This is heartbreaking with the Three of Swords. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. It's Three of Swords reversed, okay? I feel like you, you know, have been grieving over a loss, maybe even some prolonged grief here. It's really time to leave those past hurts behind and focus on the future. I feel like you're divinely guided here. I feel like, you know, when we, the, the Hermit reverse is a card of rejection. It is. And then we have the God card, which is the Hierophant. That is protection. Rejection is God's protection. I feel like you haven't been, or, or, you know, maybe somebody has left your life because you were being protected from that energy. Because the protection card is the Seven of Wands. This is protection. And you need to protect yourself. And I, you need to protect yourself. And underneath that Seven of Wands is the Ten of Wands reversed by letting go. By letting go. I feel like whoever you're dealing with um, may have pushed you away. They may have pushed you away or they decided to go in another direction because of that chariot card. And now you need to find your ability to release because a death card reversed is, is hard to release. I, I can't, let you, there's a lack of closure, right? There's a lack of closure. And I feel like you need to be practical. You need to use common sense. You need to, uh, uh, 
focus on yourself you need to focus on your on your heart I feel like you need to heal your heart during this time I feel like you've been healing your heart but I feel like there's still some sort of uh, discontent over having to let go because of the king of swords reverse and the ten of wands reverse it's like I don't really want to let go but you will feel relief okay maybe somebody has let go of you and that's the relief that you're feeling I do see relief here feeling some sort of relief I feel like um, what lies ahead is wish fulfillment with the nine of cups you have something that it, you may not see coming which is solid which is stable which is real with the knight of pentacles it will take time you know it will take time to receive this or to get your wish fulfillment or to get the solid opportunity that you have been trying to manifest but I feel like some of you have been trying to manifest something from your past that you have been obsessed with because I have the obsession. I have it with the Devil card and I have it with the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is obsessed. It's obsessed with holding on. Holding on to a love with the Page of Cups. Obsessed with holding on to a dead end. Death reversed. Some of you have been obsessed with holding on to a dead end. But you absolutely need to release. And I feel like you are being guided. There could be a spiritual teacher here with that Hierophant card. Could be a Taurus. I don't know. Um, that is trying to teach you something about releasing, about your life, about uh, your self-value and your self-worth. Down at the bottom, the out card card, outcome card is the Knight of Pentacles. That is value. It is, it is worth. I think that you are headed towards wish fulfillment, but it comes after release. That Knight of Pentacles is mirroring the death card reverse. It's like you're, you're holding, you. a lot of you, this is a dead end. Something has ended for you, but releasing it is the biggest struggle of because of the Ten of Wands as well. You need to release it. You need to let it go. And I feel like um, this week, you may be communicating with somebody that... I don't know, broke your heart because of the Page of Cups and then the Three of Swords reversed. This person may know that you're obsessed. They may see that you're obsessed. They may want some sort of, they may be, they, this may be somebody that is um, extremely arrogant, that has some sort of power over you and they want to keep their control. They want to keep their power over you. They may see that you're letting go. They may see that you're releasing them and you may have to push them away. You may have to tell them no. I do believe you're going to be receiving some sort of message from somebody that really broke your heart, but I feel like you need to be practical. You need to remember your value. You need to hold on to your value. You need to uh, well, there's codependency with that devil card and that Capricorn card. It's like, I'm bound to this. This is a lesson. This is a test. This is a test. Your, your value is going to be tested this week. It's like God is testing you. They're going to be testing your lessons. They're going to be testing your value. They're going to be testing your intelligent intelligence. Uh, God, the higher power, and then the King of Swords reverse. Now, the King of Swords upright could be your energy. The King of Swords very intelligent, extremely intelligent. In reverse, that may not be so. Okay, that may be like I'm not using my head. I'm using my heart, not my head. You are going to need, you are going to be tested. You're going to be tested by somebody that you've had feelings for in the past. Okay, and your, your value is going to be tested. God's going to see if you're ready for your new life. Are you ready for your new life? Or have you not learned your lesson yet? This is a spiritual awakening. I feel like you need to listen to your gut. You need to listen to your intuition during this time. I feel like you need to protect yourself. You're going to need to protect yourself. Um, releasing, releasing heavy baggage, releasing a burden is on the table here. Somebody may be releasing you or you're releasing them. It is for the best. It is definitely for the best, but I, it's the most practical, wisest decision to do. But I feel like you are really going to be struggling with uh, releasing this, with making the right decision, making, because the King of Swords reversed sometimes doesn't make the right decision. I think you're going to be struggling with making a decision. I feel like there is somebody that is uh, going to be putting you 
in a position where you have to protect yourself, you have to defend yourself, you probably have to say no. You're going to have to say no. You've got to use common sense this week. You really need to use common sense. Use your use your head and your heart, not just one or the other, okay? Um, it feels like you're really going to be in your feelings this week. The first card out is the Page of Cups. Now, some of you, this could ha you could receive some news. It may have something to do with a marriage. could also have something to do with a funeral when you get the when you get the uh, Harold Font card. Um, we may have, because we have the death card here as well, even in reverse, there, there could be something, and we have the three of swords, I'm not sure if we have somebody here that is choosing to, the to definite decision has been made with the, the three, they have, de they have chosen to leave a dead end situation that has completely weighed them down. Now that could be you that's choosing to do that or the person that you are talking about or that were the other person. And I feel like this is, a, this is, um, should bring you some, some, some sort of relief or it's bringing them relief. The 10 of wands reverse is relief. It's relief from um, something that has been weighing somebody down. It's like dropping weight. It's like, whew, what a relief. What a relief. You're definitely going to be feeling in your emotions, okay? You're going to be feeling in your emotions. You're going to be feeling uh, defeated maybe even you're definitely you're gonna it's it's just like you're not gonna admit defeat though it's like no I'm not I'm strong I'm strong I'm very 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 strong and you and you're gaining strength through whatever this experience is You got somebody here also that is in a situation just for the money. So I don't know who it is. Somebody is, is like hiding money or they're holding on to a situation just for the money. And that's heartbreaking. You may be heartbroken over somebody's greed. They're, and the devil is greed as well. So you're dealing, you got a greedy person here that is really, you know, they're in a commitment just for the money. And maybe you know that and there's not one thing that you can do about it. Let's talk about your person. Somebody is moving. They're traveling. They're taking the high road. You need to uh, let go of the past. There's nothing you can do about it. The decision is made. Letting go. Letting go. On the you know making a conscious change to let go. Some you need to let go. There's somebody that you need to let go of. Your person, Knight of Cups reversed, Three of Pentacles, they've already made their decision, Six of Swords reversed, Five of Wands reversed. So whoever you're dealing with is in a situation that they are not leaving, okay, there's no, the Six of Swords reversed, they're not going anywhere, okay, whoever we're talking about. The struggle is real with the Five of Wands reversed. It feels like they're not, they're, they, you, you could be dealing with this. This is like, the, it's over, okay? The conflict is over. There's no going back and forth anymore, okay? The, 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 there's no more, it's over, it's done. The decision has been made. This person is not looking to have a relationship with you or they're not looking to communicate with you or they're, or if they do, it's just because they want power. It's just because they want the same, they don't want to lose the, the power and control that they have over you. But this is heartbreaking whoever you're dealing with is not the knight of cups reversed they're not really looking for a relationship they they are emotionally unavailable this person uh sweeps problems under the rug they um may already have somebody else they've they've already connected with somebody else they're creating a new life with anybody with somebody else they're they're unwilling to make any changes they're stuck in their current situation they 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 they've made their they've made up their mind um, they're not willing to participate they they don't want to compete with you they don't want to be in a competition anymore uh, this person um, doesn't want to get caught. They don't want to get caught. Whatever, whatever it is that they don't want to get caught with. They don't want to get caught in a third party situation. 
Um, Knight of Cups reverse. That's not looking for a relationship. It could be getting dumped as well. So this person may have just dumped you. Like they spoke, they speak words of love, but their actions don't match up. Okay. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that, um, I feel like they lie. This person lies a lot. They may eat. This is like an unrequited love situation. You know, and some of you may be sitting there saying, oh, no, well, this that's my, that's my karmic that doesn't love the person he's with. No, you're in denial. That's not it. The death card reversed. It's a near death. It's like a, it's, it's a near death situation, or it's death. It's over. It could be. A, it could be a death. It's over. It's over. It's over. And it, this holding on is getting old. You need to be logical. You need to be practical. You know. You need to release. And then the death card reversed with the ten of wands reversed. That's release. You need to release. You need to protect yourself from this person that is not looking for a long-term relationship with you. They, it's a third party situation and waiting for them to make a move that they're never going to make is not very intelligent. You need to be practical. You need to use common sense. You need to get real. The Knight of Pentacles is get real, get practical, focus on your self-value, focus on yourself, focus on your foundation, focus on your home. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. Do not look back. What lies ahead is the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. But, it, but, but above that is the Ten of Wands reversed. You will have wish fulfillment when you release, when you release, you know, the need to uh, compete or fight for somebody that broke your heart. Some of you are going through a major life transformation right now. It's a time of healing. It's a time of introspection. It's a time of realization. It's a time of re-identification. It's a, it's a time of spiritual awakening for you. This person's not coming back. You need to, you know, you're probably going to be, you may even be in fight mode. You may be in fight mode because, you know, it's hard to let go. It's kind of like the stages of grief. One of them is anger. After anger comes acceptance, but sometimes we backtrack. I've been through grief myself more than once. We backtrack, we go back to, you know, revenge, to fighting, then we go back to acceptance. It's part of the cycle. It is definitely part of the cycle. So I feel like you are going through a spiritual awakening, but there's, there's. I feel like this week it may be a week of anger. You know, we got the King of Swords reversed next to the Seven of Wands. That's like, I don't know, you may be trying to wreak havoc on somebody because you're angry and you're upset over an ending that is hard to accept. It's hard to accept. You need you in the the chariot is about mastering emotions. You're going to need to find your discipline and your willpower to master your emotions and not look back. There's nothing you can do. It's over. It's done. You need to focus on your future. Release the past. Don't let this hold you down. You have wish fulfillment. You do have wish fulfillment in the future. You do have happiness in the future. But right now, you should be working on yourself.
and good luck.